Ways in which the Great Lakes try to murder ships. There's an estimated 6,000 ships and over 30,000 lives that have been lost in the Great Lakes. One of them is a cresting failure when a large wave lifts the ship by the middle, causes a lot of stress right here. The other one is plowing when riding down a wave and sends you into the next. This is the worst in the Great Lakes because fresh water waves are spaced closer than salt water waves. That's something I would have never expected. Oh, wait, this sounds actually way worse. Plowing to ground strike. There are parts that don't get that deep. There's bottoming. That's an interesting term. Big waves actually increases the chance the entire ship gets slammed into the sea floor. So chances are if you're near the coastline in the Great Lakes, uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty shallow. Well, especially Lake Erie, that's for sure. Man, just going through all these is freaking me out. I don't think I want to take a ship through the Great Lakes. 